Hello everybody, welcome to ZGC, my name is Zerilius, and we're hopping into Evolution 2, Battle for Utopia, Now I kind of shut this off in the last video, and I'm so sorry that that went up so late, um, yeah, there's just having tons of, uh, difficulties over here on my end, and, and, and tried getting it up way earlier, but, anyway, it's up now, that's the important thing, um, you guys are able to watch it, everything, but this came out yesterday, it's a message from the commander, basically, he's saying that, uh, once he arrived on Earth, there was some kind of disease that took over it, and everybody... All humankind, there are now called arch humans, just like a mutated form of humans. But they, what we know as humanity, it does not exist in them whatsoever. So it's just a message to citizens on the Utopia saying that they're the last ones left, and that even the commander might be dead. You know, by the time we receive this message, so um. I don't know if we got that message due to progress through the story mode or if it's just a uh, news update from the devs telling us about some future event. Um, so this is yet to be seen, but it's very interesting that, that uh, as far as story goes right now... Um, yeah, Earth is gone, <laughs> you know, and some of the last remaining humans are here on Utopia fighting for survival, which is crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's action. Yes, I died. This is what happens when you die. If you have a drone available, you can go send them to pick up the resources there uh, uh, I want to go ahead and take out these Z over here um, just because acid grenade research you know and we'll get five acid grenades which which those would be extremely useful against armor targets because like I said there's multiple um, elements to this game, you know, and basically with everything I've been using up to this point has either been just normal or explosive damage. Um, Simon here is not explosive, but he is incendiary, meaning fire, you know, but we haven't really come up against any enemies that we can take advantage of their weaknesses uh you know, so this would be a great opportunity to do that. Ooh, is there a Z Priestess out here? Yep, I see her. Way back there, counting down. I was like, what was that attack? <laughs> Who's using Psy Powers out here? Okay, so the Priestess has to go. She does another one of those. Nope, she's doing another one of them. Wow, but acid grenades will be great against armored targets, which, like, that executioner fight that we did yesterday, that was an armored target. That's why we were hardly doing any damage to him, and I did not see that a weak point on his back until, until the very, very end of that battle. So that's why that battle took forever. Ooh, I'm out of stamina. I can't walk back and forth anymore. Good thing that battle is over. But uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of why that took so long. Like, usually big enemies like that will have some kind of weak point on their body. You know, um, it's just a matter of finding it and uh, finding out how to take advantage of that. Because otherwise, you're just not going to be doing a whole lot of damage. Especially if you're stuck with, um, 
Ooh, that's in the priestess, priestess, priestess. Can we target the priestess, please? Thank you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, like, um... Like I said, uh... Taking advantage of... Opponents' weaknesses is a great, great thing in this game, especially... You know, since we haven't really gotten any elemental weapons. No, we haven't really been able to do that. So armored targets for us right now is pain in the butt. And all since we do little to no damage to armored targets with our uh, current guns. Which is another reason why that... um. <laughs> Battle took so long. And that's kind of why I'm pushing for the dragon machine gun, just because the do have a weakness to fire, and all these little creatures are considered Z creatures. Ooh, another priestess. Let's go ahead and power shot her up. Ooh, is that a bloody crawler? Bloody crawler. I'm passing the grenade just in case. Best way to get rid of that thing. Nope, nope. Let's not walk into that. You know, um... Uh, uh, like I said, I'm just doing this for the asset grenades. Is like I said, they'll just give us uh, a huge advantage and some versatility moving forward. You know, and I know once we complete the next story mission, we can uh, finally unlock Blake's uh, side powers. You know, you've seen that as a reward down there in the in the uh, reward column over there. Show you what I'm talking about. Bam! Side power. You know, and I don't know exactly what that's going to entail. I mean, I have done co-ops with people who have done that, and they're sitting there using side powers, you know, and a bunch of different stuffs going on. So I don't know exactly how that's going to work. If we're going to get like access to some kind of skill tree, we'll have to invest resources into that. Um, which Psypowers usually, at least in the first game, use the resource called Crystals. You know, to keep them charged up. Which we haven't come across yet. You know, um... In case you guys are wondering, uh, Crystals are mainly reserved for Psypower and Psypower research. So that's why our Crystal count is currently at is zero. Let's take advantage of some of these grenades. Two Simon's ready. Oh man. This is just a lot. And there's still more coming. There's still 34. Oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing this? There's still 34 enemies. I don't know if I'm going to be able to avoid all that damage. Oh my goodness. I don't know how that was possible. I really don't. But it took absolutely no damage from that. At least nothing that I've noticed. You will be avenged. And I'm running really low on stamina. So I'm just have to stand here and take it for a little bit. Oh no! Don't wanna take that! <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, I somehow survived that, I thought that killed me. Mm. Oh well. <laughs> we'll go back into it. Yeah, I thought that explosion killed me, so I just kind of dropped the phone. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be a little bit more challenging than I thought it would be. Uh, I'll... Go ahead and do that on my own, and let's just go ahead and try to get these side powers for today's episode. You know, and 
not a main reason why I left that one there. I just wasn't sure if it was part of the story and if there's going to be any text to go with it. So. So, we're at the Jet 1000 Nutcrackers old, or not Nutcrackers, Kingpin's old hideout. And like I said, um... If you're at this point of the story, you can find out a little bit of information about uh, Kingpin. You know, over there in that HQ uh, information tab. I don't know where I give you lore or in background info on some of the characters that are being mentioned that aren't necessarily in the game, like like. Uh, Kingpin. You know why Kingpin's not in the game? Because we killed them in the first one. <laughs> no joke. And uh, um, then after that we had to... I can't remember if we killed Matri Oska before or after the Kingpin fight. I do not remember. But I do remember you had to kill Matri Uska several times in the first game before she finally became your partner. So maybe it was a few battles before and after. of a fight with Kingpin before she finally says, and we'll explain, like, you're literally killing her. You know what I'm saying? But she keeps coming back to life. Like, uh, <laughs> and she kind of explained that, um, I think it was last episode, and I'm sure if you go look at Mithri uh info, she'll tell you, or explain why she was able to survive death so much. You know. So we're finally catching up with the Nutcracker. <clears throat> you know, um... It said Nutcracker last episode. He tried to send his minions after us. Didn't work out too well for him as we beat them all back. You know, and once we did that, Nutcracker ran to Kingpin's old hideout. Which I guess is now Nutcracker's hideout. Ooh. Didn't realize there's a turret out there. Like I said, fire damage. It'll do a little bit of damage to armored targets, but not much. Um, same thing with electric damage. In case you guys are wondering about the elements and how they work and what their main advantages are, or advantages and weaknesses are, I should say. Oh, how did I miss that? Alright, we'll just grenade it. I still didn't take it out. And I missed again! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am just not doing good with the sniper. On camera, for whatever reason, like the sniper just does not work for me. Trust me, off camera, I'm popping off headshots like crazy. So yeah, and like with um, every single one of these videos, at least, and I think it'll be a strategy or something I do for like more or more future games is um, you know, put like a little story description down there, like either I'm telling the story myself. You know, uh, just to give you guys more detail of what's going on because I know I'm scrolling through this text really really fast 
you know, see if we had acid grenades right now we'd be able to take out this shield bearer with little to no problems because he is considered an armored enemy try to get that sniper to shoot oh the sniper actually hit me I was trying to get her to commit to the shot that not hit him? Let's try a grenade. Uh, like, grenades are always going to be effective against something. So, you don't know what to hit it with? Shower it with grenades. It will usually work. <laughs> there is nothing in this game that is resistant to... to, um... explosive. I hit him. was in a headshot. No, not Harlequin. Get out of here, Harlequin. Get out of here, Harlequin. Nobody likes you. Just the amount of grenades thrown in this game. Like, enemies would throw grenades in the first game, too. But this is just ridiculous. Like, you have, like, five grenades coming in at you at all once and if you're not careful they're just just a whole ton of damage and the other day i have been upgrading my armor too which is sad you know um upgrading armor doesn't necessarily prevent more damage it it uh gives you more health you know no fight i'm still end up dying in some of these situations or take some major damage to where I'm burning through med kits it's like really no uh, like I said it just goes to show resource management just because you know you might have the best armor in the game doesn't mean you can take an infinite amount of damage you know because if you're not careful like these stages will kill you quick when I say quick I mean like quick like oh my gosh all oh, this right here and I'm trying to get the aim on that ooh there's a Harlequin note let's take out the Harlequin first Harlequin go first and will you summon to take out those ads while I focus on this guy over here? Boom. Into pieces. Yeah, another leader. Yeah, I really miss that shield sometimes that the commander had. <laughs> Like, it blocked almost all damage. You know, I mean, and it could eventually be broken, but... You know, nine times out of ten, you're hiding behind the shield. You're pretty safe. Mm, 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 mm. I still have to wake it up. <laughs> At least at the time I'm maybe recording this. I'm sure, by the time it comes out and I'm ready for your guys' eyes, I'll be fully awake. That doesn't help me now. <laughs> Did I miss that? Oh no! Harlequins! Harlequins, Harlequins, Harlequins! Oh, these enemies are the worst. And there's a sniper in the background. To ensure we keep moving. 
Alright. Now we can focus back on this dude. No leader, no army. <laughs> no leader, no army. <laughs> That's what Blake just said when I killed that leader. Uh, yep, Harley Quinn's gotta go first. Don't lose your head. Let's go ahead and take out the sniper, just cause those things are super annoying. Let's try to get this stamina built back up. Oh no, we're down to the last... Dude. Um, that should do it. Mmm. Excuse me. Oh, man. I have no idea what that was. I'm gonna go ahead and watch this ad and see you guys after that. And what did we get? Ooh. Five Spec Ops Assault Rifle. Five. We'll take that. For sure. Krayos is all looking at me right now like he wants something. Hmm. <laughs> Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn, go away. There's no circus around here. There's no jokers or clowns. Go. Be gone. Got you, sniper. Wow, another sniper. Okay. Ooh, I missed that one. Oh, power shot. Heard the death then. <laughs> I don't be missing like this with my sniper rifle. Off camera. I don't know why I can't do it. Oh, was that a headshot? No, no, that wouldn't have been intentional. Like, with Holocrans and Vipers and other units like that, I just quick scope them, so to speak. Just basically hit the sniper button and and uh fire and hope i hit and sometimes that happens <laughs> you know where you do actually get the headshot so uh like that one i think i missed completely and that harlequin is tearing me a new one so good strategy for melee i mean i know you think about it you know you don't want to use a sniper rifle up close and personal but it's a great way to do some major damage to those annoying melee units you know it's a strategy I also use in in a uh, PvP with those uh, sword strikers you know the side op sword striker ladies who can really do a number on you if you're not careful you know what I'm not taking advantage of? These grenades. Goodbye, Harlequins. I keep forgetting that I have like three of them now that I can use for free. But I'm gonna know what happens once I get a different type of grenade, like a uh, acid grenade or electric grenade, stasis grenade. Ooh, that Harlequin got in the way. <laughs> Uh, let's say goodbye to the Harley Quinn. You know, um, if you can only take two types of grenades into battle, or or another thing, which is another reason why I really wanted those acid grenades. And if I had them right now, it'd 
definitely help against the shield bearer. Possibly break his shield. Alright, so, yep, it's just this guy now. Just ideal situation, and just kinda hoping we get in him some kind of position where we can hit him with that sniper. Oh, I still have one more free grenade. Nice, nope, of course he's turning to me where I can hit him through the. Bam! Little head slot right there. Mm, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my still moving forward. Max is only 1200. And. You know, that's just via upgrading the storage. You know, which. You know, if you're not reaching this amount of still. Like I am, then I wouldn't worry too much about it because it does cost a pretty penny to to upgrade. But I mean, it's something you'll want done eventually. You know, um, and it does, like I said, cost a lot of resources. That first one was like 800 steel and a thousand biofuel. Um, this next ex upgrade is going to be a thousand steel and and um 1600 biofuel you know and that's just for another extra 200 storage spots it exploded I love that Apparently grenades are super effective against the uh, Harlequins as well. What is that big dude back there? Is that a gunner? Yep, it's a destroyer. Now their official name is destroyer. I just like calling them gunners because they're wielding that big old machine gun. Alright, I just wanted to make sure everybody was down so nothing got in the way of his power shot and is he glitched right now I don't know but I will take it grenade I'm taking all day with that shot <laughs> this is why I'm not a good quick scope because <laughs> I'm always trying to line up that perfect shot <laughs> I know that I like I mean when it comes to shooters I've been no I'm not the greatest of the world because I will not pull the trigger until I have it perfectly lined up I don't know what it is with my brain that thinks it has to be perfect before I pull the trigger but it happens every time and I get killed up so much because of it you know, I tried to tell myself, fire faster, you know, just shoot and everything. There's times where I do that and, you know, it does work out. You know, then, like, on the next fall I come across, it's like, trying to line up the perfect shot again. It's just like, ah. Now that combined with not having the greatest internet in the world, you know, with wherever location I'm going, like that ping just absolutely kills me when it comes to online shooters, especially. You know, um, it's just, I mean, I've ran to so many situations where, where, you know, I should have survived and gotten the kill and it wasn't the case you know one of my worst horror stories is uh, with black ops I want to say two it was black ops two yeah, yeah I was playing multiplayer online might have been the first black ops I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I mean, I really haven't played a Call of Duty game since this. Uh, yeah, I was... 
running up. No, it was on the beach level. I just died. You know, I respawned, game clock was winding down. And now I'm running up the beach. You know, to go to the castle and everything. There's like this little archway, you know, enemy person on the other team came in. You know, stopped in the archway. Or at least this is what I saw. Now he stopped in the archway, turned, aimed down his sights, you know, at me and started shooting. And I was just like, hmm, that's a really good deal. And it will give us an elemental gun and the thousand gems. Uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, he aimed down the sides and when uh, I saw him, and it wasn't one of these perfect shot moments I was talking about, I just lifted dude up. Because, like I said, the time was winding down, and it was just like final kill, you know, the screen flashes, you know, go to the final kill cam. Whatever, I was just like, yes, I got the last kill. You know, and no, wasn't the case at all. It just sh shows this dude run out of the castle, stop in the middle of the archway, like he came to a complete stop, turned, you know, uh, looked down the sights at me, lined up the headshot, which took him like two seconds to do and pull the trigger and it was just like what and I was sitting in the living room with like four other people were like sitting there taking turns on the multiplayer like none of us wanted to play after that and also like ping factor so I don't do a whole bunch of online multiplayer I just know I ain't got the best internet for that. Ooh, I was hoping being on the cusp of that ring would uh get me on there. Like, I mean, just with certain games, it's like super bad. Like Black Ops or the Call of Duties are notorious, or first-person shooters in general are just notorious for that. Like, if you don't have you no know, really good internet. You know, um, then you're not gonna do very well. You know, not as well as, as, uh, you could be doing, at least. Was that a Viper? No. No. Bad Viper. Bad. Kill the Viper, Simon. Kill the Viper. Yep. Stone Acid Grenades. Don't know how I avoid that. Is she still alive? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, like certain games, like with the PvP with this one, hasn't been that bad, or the, and the co-ops. And uh, when I said PvP, I meant that Hero Day on Sunday where it was a player versus player situation. You know, like I said, wasn't that bad. Ooh, got her with that headshot. Who's left? die <coughs> mm, excuse me but yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and watch this ad and we'll be back and we are back in yes exactly what I wanted although I wish that was like five pieces or just the complete gun but I took either one of those yeah yeah Uh, yeah, like you were saying about the, you know, not having the best internet in the world. It does put a hamper on your game, like, you know, you can be, whoa, the unknown one. 
just message encrypted every time he speaks. Oh my gosh, what enemy is this? Is this finally a new enemy? Oh my gosh, I thought I hit that fire button like twice. Let's pop that engine off. Nope, missed it. No, maybe I did hit it because it didn't have a lot of health left afterward. Let's go ahead and fire shot that dude. Try to make him drop his grenade. Don't get caught by the grenade. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that explosion. Let's see, we're doing extremely well with like grenades and health kits. We've only used five so far today which is insane considering everything that we've been going against whoa whoa dynamite from the gunner dude no bueno let's get that headshot off let's pop a grenade with that big old stack of enemies over there um he's not armored so he should take full damage from fire uh, let's get out of that Bloomberg's way. Go ahead, hit you with a headshot and another grenade. How about that? Oh, the dynamite! Oh I didn't see him throw that. And then we have a Harley Quinn in the face. Right when I said we were doing so well on machine on medkits, a destroyer had to come in here and ruin my day. Go ahead and power shot that sniper up there. And this dude just needs his head blown off. Yeah, we're getting dangerous close to uh, max still. Like to the point where I'm going to go upgrade a gun real quick. You know, just because, um, yeah, these are all the gun frags I do have. Let's see, my scorpion is, is, uh, five levels to go. I could probably finish that off right now if I use the gems, but no, I'm mainly saving those for crafting. You know, because apparently with the med kids in this game, you can only craft them with uh, crystals, which kind of sucks. I don't know, and there's not a whole lot, but considering how much you actually go through, you know, it does take a toll on your crystal count. That sniper back there, and I can get in the way. Uh, I don't want to be aiming at the Boombird, I want to be aiming at the Harlequin. Can we power shot the Harlequin? Set her on fire! Exploded. I'm surprised I actually got that hit. <laughs> I never get those when they're moving. Uh, let's go ahead and kill that Harley Quinn. Now let's focus in on this sniper. Uh, I do believe that was just a grenade. And I'm just going to let this boom bird go boom wherever it goes boom. Um, let me just sit and build this uh, stamina up a little bit. Ooh, I caught her. Get a grenade too. Nope, not enough. Got her. What the hell shot? I'm loving this. It's like two Viper kills with headshots. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to avoid using this last health kit. Nope, let's get out of the boom bird's way and buy sniper. Did I end up using the med kit? I hope not. Because right, I guess I just 
resource management in this game. Like, yeah, you need to do the stage for resources, but you don't have the med kits to do it. You know what I'm saying? Just stupid little stuff like that can stop you from advancing and doing what you want to do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so Nutcracker isn't coming out to face us himself. It doesn't look like it. Or no, it does look like it. So, what type of enemy is he? Oh, he has nurses back there. Ooh, was not paying attention. That's what happens when you stay into sniper mode too long. <laughs> Don't see incoming grenades. Um, I want to take out all of these nurses. I think that'd be good strategy moving forward. Because if we don't, he's you're just going to keep them healed up. Which we don't want. Ooh, I see that grenade coming. Grenade had a really wide uh, range. Right, get that killer. Good. Says there's three left. Ooh, no, no, no. Get out of that. Get out of that. But I don't know when these other two are going to come. Maybe when we get them down lower. I'm going to go ahead and pop a med kit. And no, we did not use a med kit that last round, which I'm extremely happy for. Looks like I said, the saving a med kit is saving a med kit. Alright, he threw something at us. Now he goes into... Like he throws, then he shoots. So it would be good time to get some cover. You know, after he throws his grenade. Or just start moving. Because <laughs> this dude is getting crazy. Wait, is he like accessing his side powers right now? Yep. Alright, let's get rid of this last nurse over here. Move, Simon, move! Oh, she healed right before I got that shot off. This is a good thing there's no time limit on these, uh... Stages, huh? <laughs> oh, wow! Where does that come from? Did I miss something? Like, I didn't see him raise anything up. Oh, that animation right there. Got it. Oh, I totally missed that one. Alright, let's move out of the way of all that stuff. Then this is where he does the... Bring it down from above thing. And I oh, went through three medkits so far on this stage. If I'm not careful, <laughs> he's going to kill me before I get the chance to kill him. Alrighty, Nutcracker is down. <sighs> oh, that's back up. Sniper rifle fragments. Some YouTube med kits, which I do need to research. Psy power received. So, see what all of this entails. Like,
let's talk to Morales real quick. I do want to show off, um, off Psy Powers before we end this episode. Um, go talk to Gladco. Okay, they're just talking about Psy Power Protocol and how much more powerful that he's getting and and need to actually apply uh Psy Powers and they're directed to Meiji Oshka everybody's favorite sniper And I'm talking about how the commander ended up using the side power. And she's directing us to Chronos Bunker. Or is, does this mean no side powers? Aww. Aww. No, that's not what that could mean. Um, and it looks like we're due for another helicopter upgrade. Oh my gosh, these upgrades are getting quite ridiculous. Let's see what do we need for all of that. I think that's kind of why I was saving my magnetite, just because, you know, um, I do need it. And we are about 150 short. So, I'll go ahead and earn that offline and get that all upgraded off camera. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, stay up to date with content going up on the channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Along with that notification bell. And... You know, um, let me know how I'm doing down there in that comment section. And, uh, your feedback will be greatly, greatly appreciated. And, hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Um, also, down there in the description, no, I, no, I haven't been saying this every video, and I need to start, but... Uh, somewhere down in the description will be a link to my Discord and my, um, uh, Facebook page. You know, so you guys go ahead and follow me on those platforms as well. I uh, hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you later.